Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your September monthly forecast. I am your astrologer, Maria G. Simone. Let's get right to it. September promises to be a very important month because we are beginning eclipse season all over again between September and October. I will get to that. But first, let's start with the new moon. There is a new moon on September 2nd in Virgo that falls in your 11th house. This is friendships. This is your social alliances, social connections. And this new moon does promise to bring you an opportunity to forge new alliances. It's serious though, okay? This is not light and fluffy, gossipy types of friendships. This is, this is going to be weighty because the new moon is opposite Saturn. So it's not just about having fun and having a good time. It's about these friendships are going to have substance. And if they don't, you're not interested. So it might be that you connect with people who share an interest, a deep interest of yours, or maybe some older friends, people who are of a different age group than you. But regardless, it is new opportunity and you should absolutely be thriving from the networking connections that you make during this new moon time. On September 4th, Mars, the planet of action and energy, your traditional ruler, will enter the sign Cancer and moves into your ninth house. This could be contentious if you are involved in any litigation. It might be, you know, might be a good thing actually because if you have an attorney representing you, he or she will absolutely advocate for you, will be a little fierce. It could also lend to some impatience though with any kind of legal matter. So be careful about that. This also will affect your life in terms of academic and spiritual pursuits. You might be assertively pursuing a new path with your beliefs and you have to be emotionally tied to whatever this is. It has to feel right to you. If it doesn't feel right, you're just not going to be motivated. You're not going to be interested. The same thing goes with academic pursuits. If it's not lighting you up emotionally, oh boy, you're going to feel very frustrated about whatever it is that you're pursuing now. But if it is lighting you up, if it does feel super aligned with who you are, then you might do more work, make more progress in this academic pursuit, in this spiritual pursuit, than you ever imagined possible in a short amount of time. Eclipse season. On September 17th, we officially begin with our first eclipse. It's a lunar eclipse in Pisces, and this will all in your fifth house, which is children, romance, pleasure. This eclipse is right next to Neptune. So there is a very big Neptunian energy connected to it, which can be either inspirational or delusional and confusing. Let's take this in the terms of romantic matters first, because that could be the trickiest. It could be that you, if you are single, you realize that you are uh, fooling yourself, perhaps, if you're totally single, where you're dreaming this impossible dream about a person in your future that you may want to date. Somebody who can never measure up, can never be real. It's not reality. It's more fantasy. And so you might have to realign your expectations in the dating world if you're totally single. If you're dating someone, there could either be a very big disappointment, a disillusionment, the bubble bursts, you realize this person is human and flawed, and then you have to go from there. Or you can start to feel a great deal of fulfillment and magic in your heart connected to this person. It really depends on what else is going on in your chart. I would like to believe this is more of the fulfilling type of eclipse for you only because Pisces is a fellow water sign and there's a compatibility there, but I'm not looking at your entire chart. So I'm giving you both scenarios here. A lunar eclipse can actually be bring a total ending or it can bring a total fulfillment. It really depends on how it's plugging into your chart. So you have to keep that in mind. If this is about children, you may find out that one of your children is floundering and needs some extra help in some area, whether it's you know, age appropriate, obviously. So maybe it's school, maybe it's their love life if they're older, maybe it's you know them getting their education together, some kind of a disappointing situation there with a child to walk through. And if it's a creative pursuit, you might either feel completely inspired or totally let down and, and disappointed about this project that you're, you've been working on. You could launch a creative project under this eclipse very successfully, Scorpio. So if you are almost ready 
to put the finishing touches on something that is near and dear to your heart, go ahead and launch it after this eclipse. It'll bring that fulfillment to you. Okay, just manage your expectations. Don't be unrealistic about anything with this lunar eclipse in Pisces, <clears throat> even though it'll be very difficult not to be. Now on September 22nd, Venus moves into your sign, and this is golden. You're going to love this transit, and this actually brings even more support for you in terms of love and relationship matters. So I, I think there's more evidence here for you with romantic fulfillment than disappointment. You're going to be confident, you're going to be beautiful, you're going to be magnetic and attracting things towards you, whether it is money or love or anything that brings you personal fulfillment, you'll be more confident and gracious, and other people will just want to help you and be around you. So that's pretty cool. 